Here in Floyd, we fill a pool to live close to the land, to be with the livestock, to experience the sun and the wind, to bring in the hay, and to gather around the family table to enjoy the fruits of our labors. Farms have been the backbone of our rural culture since the late 1700s, when European settlers crested the ridge and fell in love with the sea of chestnut blooms and our beautiful mountain. Seventy-five years ago, more than 2,400 farms grew and sold livestock and crops like green beans, tomatoes, and cabbage, which supplied local canneries and grain mills. By this time, though, the American chestnut cash crop was destroyed by a devastating blight. With the trend toward mega farms that accelerated in the 1940s, our hilly land was not easily worked with tractors, and our farmers struggled to make a living. 30 years of farming, 30 years of heartache, 30 years of day to day. Oh, my daddy stopped talking. The day the farm was auctioned, there was nothing left to say. Many took jobs off the farm, and their children left home for work or college with little thought of return. By 1997, over 1,500 of these farms were gone, and the loss continues. Since 2002, about 200 of our large farm tracts have been divided into residential parcels. Increasing amounts of our land lie fallow. Our remaining farms are vital as they provide our food, recharge our groundwater, and feed our spirits. With challenges come new opportunities that call upon our mountain resilience, determination, and creativity. In our community, we see shoots of hope. We see the Sowers family expanding their beef and dairy farm through the use of technology and conservation easements. New young farmers like Brett Nichols bring rolling greenhouses on tracks that extend the growing season, giving greater vitality to row crop farming. A local business, Good Food, Good People, has taken on the role of aggregator, connecting farmers with customers. It is the responsibility of each of us to help these farms survive. For those with land and farming skills, there is opportunity to pass along farms and information to a younger generation, to nurture our heritage of rural living, and to welcome new approaches. The community as a whole can bring support by recognizing the value of our farmland and by buying local farm products. If every household in Floyd County bought $10 a week in local food, it would mean over $3 million a year for local farmers. There are signs of a new growth cycle in local agriculture. The Working Model Farm School proposed by Sustain Floyd and supported by Virginia Tech would bring educational opportunities to a new generation. And the ongoing exploration of new food processing facilities would add value to our local harvest. With the current restoration work, it may even be that we will see the return of the chestnut to our beautiful mountain. Let us not say goodbye to our farms. Let us join together in watering our shoots of hope.